to my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video so guys in our today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how to avoid online dating apps depression guys online dating apps depression is real that is why i am here guys because i know being online dating apps is not easy especially if you are not finding the one so quickly you are only coming across scammers you are coming across men who are players you are coming across men who will tell you undress or send me your nude photos and this brings you to be frustrated brings you to feel sad which can lead you to depression and guys i don't wish that to happen to you so that is why i am here to help you <laughs> and some of you guys have been coming please bella i've been on online dating apps for years connect me this is because you are not finding the one online and you at that stage you have given up completely on online dating apps you are depressed so you think that maybe i should talk to bella so that she can connect me to a white guy or you just go around social media write dms to ladies that are married to white guys thinking that they will connect you <laughs> so i am here to help you guys with all that <laughs> number one way to avoid online dating apps depression i know you have been on online dating apps for so long but you are not finding the one and what happens you keep on pushing yourself by staying on online dating apps but same things have been happening you chat with a guy and eventually you come to find out that the guy was only fantasizing he is not even planning to meet you in person guys i know in life everyone has got their own goals those really important things that you want to achieve in life if you achieve them you are going to be very happy if you achieve them you will be proud of yourself so think of those goals and after you have thought very well of those goals write them down and let's take an example they are three and among those three goals that you want to achieve is to find the right man on online dating apps let's say a white man right <laughs> so if that is the case i want you to give your time your energy to those two goals leave alone the finding the guy on online dating apps leave it aside first concentrate on this give more of your time on that and then when it comes to online dating i'm not telling you to abandon it no do not abandon it but don't give it much of your time much of your energy because you have tried but you still don't get positive results so concentrate on those other two because you achieving them will make you very happy you achieving them will make you feel proud of yourself and then on your free time just pass by the dating apps and see if something good will come by guys when you do that you are going to become a very happy person your life will keep moving you won't feel depressed because you're not finding any guy on online dating apps because that is not only the important goal in your life that you want to achieve because trust me no matter how much time you give to the dating apps if it is not god's time you are not going to achieve that goal <laughs> you need to wait on god's time but don't let your life stop your life should move on because when you let your life stop you only think about dating apps you only think about finding the one on online dating apps and then you come across these losers that wants to waste your time that is when you become sad and fall into a depression guys i don't want that to happen to you so please take my advice or think about it and good luck guys <laughs> way number two that will help you avoid online dating apps depression i know you have been on online dating apps for so long but nothing is happening you get frustrated and at the same time you're like i want to give up but still you tell yourself if i give up maybe i'm going to lose my dreams of finding the one so you keep pushing yourself by staying on online dating apps 
but you are exhausted you feel like oh my god what should i do you are confused right now dear beautiful ladies as much as you want to find the right guy on online dating apps i don't want these dating apps to destroy your life to change the person who you were before a happy person someone who is positive someone who believes in god because some ladies reached an extent of saying that maybe god does not exist why is he not answering my prayers or finding the one on online dating apps so i want to ask you a question as a sister and ask yourself this question why are you on online dating apps tell me the truth be honest with yourself <laughs> And ask yourself this, are you on online dating apps just because you want to change life? You want to go outside of your country? You want to go and live abroad? Or maybe you want to live a luxury life? And you feel like going to the dating apps will help you find a guy who will give you the luxury life? Or you want to go abroad and study for your higher studies? So that is why you are on online dating apps searching for a guy who will help you, invite you, and take you to Europe, America, Australia, Canada, or any country of your dream where you want to study, <laughs> or you want to work abroad. You are at the stage where you feel like, I am old, I should find a guy so quickly, so you decide to go on online dating apps. What are your reasons to be on online dating apps? Because I think most of you, you are on online dating apps, but not to find love. And that is why I told you guys, be honest with yourself, be honest with your sister. Start talking to yourself right now as I'm asking you, why are you on online dating apps? If your reason to be on online dating apps is maybe you want to get a job in Europe, America, whatever country of your choice, I am telling you, there are other ways of you to find a job abroad, not only by staying on online dating apps, not only by using a guy to go abroad. No, guys, because if you do that, guys on online dating apps who are serious, you chat with a guy who is serious, he's going to know that your goal is to find a job abroad not love so better follow the right ways of getting a job abroad check websites like aupair.com you might find luck there there are channels which talks of how to find a job abroad like there is this friend of mine my fellow content creator ella's farm she always talks about how to get jobs in the uk and i know exist other channels that talks about that so follow channels like that so that you can see how you are going to achieve your goal of finding a job abroad but don't stay on online dating apps because in the end you are going to fall into a depression if you don't find a guy who will be ready to sponsor you if your goal is to find a guy who will give you luxury life then you being on online dating apps you are just wasting your time because you might find a guy then he takes you if you arrive there you find a guy is even living in poverty more than the way you are living back home in africa so please if you want to live a luxury life i would advise you to start working on yourself improve yourself all starts with you and you can do it you can have a luxury life where you are in africa guys exist rich people no exist people who live luxury lives no the answer is yes so if the answer is yes start working on yourself see how you are going to achieve that luxury life but if you're on online dating apps you are searching for a guy who will give you the luxury life my dear sister you are in the wrong place and you'll end up being depressed if you want to be able to find the one in your time frame <laughs> guys if you also want to go work abroad if that is your goal to be on online dating apps i would advise you to follow mama franjo vlogs she can help you out by giving you the ideas the steps to follow so that you can get a job abroad if your goal is to study abroad then you are on online dating apps that's the wrong place guys Please go to the internet, search, exist lots of sponsorships to go study abroad, 
but being on online dating apps will only lead you to depression because that will never happen you might find a guy you come here and then he stops you from going to study your goals shattered <laughs> yes guys and not only that guys you can just stay there as you chat you know these guys are so clever they ask you questions if a guy is serious and then come to find out that your goal is to come here and study then he leaves you you'll only be chatting with players who will fantasize who will know that they will never be able to meet you but they'll keep on giving you false hopes so guys do it right if you think you are too old that is why you are on online dating apps searching for love then my dear sister what i am asking you what i'm requesting you is to remove that mindset of i am too old i am too old last time i told you a story of our beautiful sister michi who found love in her 40s she was not desperate she was not like i am too old no she went to the dating apps because she wanted to find true love and decided to give it time while praying to god and god answered her prayers so you are not old anyone can find love at any age don't give up keep searching but at the same time don't pressure yourself too much about this way number three that will help you avoid online dating apps depression is to put yourself out there and don't only depend on online dating apps to find love don't put all your eggs in one basket have you ever heard of that proverb <laughs> yes guys that is exactly what i mean we have seen last time i shared with you zubeda's story she found love on instagram and i believe exist more other couples who have found love on instagram not only instagram even other social media platforms like facebook tiktok twitter so don't only depend on, on online dating apps but that does not mean that you go and start stalking white men on instagram by writing them dms because you might learn to a scammer people are not people these days <laughs> so what i am asking you to do to put yourself out there upload cute decent photos like i said in my last video on other social media platforms if you don't know how to take beautiful photos you will get this information go on youtube search on how to take beautiful photos you will find lots of videos learn and then start to practice invest in yourself guys look good take care of yourself be positive put yourself out there go meet friends while you are out there don't only depend on online dating apps don't take online dating apps as your last hope to find love because you can find love anywhere guys chances are so so high so don't give up keep hoping that god is going to bring the right man at the right time guys i am advising you like this that don't take online dating apps as your last chance to find love or it is your last hope because if you don't find love on online dating apps if you keep searching and searching and searching and it does not happen you are going to get very disappointed you're going to get very sad that is when your self-esteem goes down due to everything these men that you have been meeting on online dating apps tell you you will believe that maybe they are right but that's not the truth or you end up pleasing these guys weird fantasies get married and end up like miri just because you want to find a guy on online dating apps just because you think that it is the only place where you can find love so you have been there for so long better take that guy that has got weird fantasies without thinking of what will happen to you in the future no guys it is not your last hope to find love i repeat you can find love anywhere guys advice number four on how to avoid online dating apps depression is by taking a break i think i talked about this but today i'm going to go more deep into this so let's take an example you have been on online dating apps for a month every day you must log in and chat with guys or write messages to guys make that first move 
and nothing has been happening you have not got positive results so right now you are very angry at the dating apps you are very disappointed you are at the point you want to give up what i'm asking you is not to give up but take a break dating apps will always be there right now as i'm talking exist lots of dating apps that you don't know about and you have never tried them so don't pressure yourself don't keep pushing yourself why you feel like you are so exhausted don't keep pushing yourself because this might make you sick you might end up into a depression i am talking like this out of experience guys i told you better fight a battle with someone who understands you so i understand you that is why i am always here to give you advices and show you the way so you have given enough time to these dating apps and nothing is happening it's time to take a break Take a break like a month and then after that one month, return to the dating apps, upload new beautiful decent photos, see who liked your photos while you were away, what happened and from there start seeing also who is new. Make that first move. By doing that guys, you will feel energized, you will feel very positive and you feel like this whole thing is new it will be like a new experience because you took a break don't keep on pushing yourself while feeling very tired this is for your own good guys also guys by taking a break if a guy is serious and then comes to your profile finds that you are not online for a month or you were away for a week and then when you come back maybe that guy is still there stalking your profile and then finds you online what this guy is going to get as an impression is that you are not desperate because if you're always there always <laughs> three months period you're always online <laughs> <laughs> some men will think that you are desperate so taking a break also works on your favor this brings to me to you ladies that have been coming on my dm ask me about the dating sites i tell you about the dating sites to try then after a month or after weeks you come back to tell me that you are not finding the one you are only encountering players you tell me all these challenges that we have discussed already men asking you for your nude photos and then you're like bella i want to give up guys i told you if you join these dating apps give it at least three months of trial try three months and see what will happen by taking a break of course in between take a break then come back upload new photos you have got nothing to lose by changing your profile photos on a dating app it will help you so much because photos are very very powerful but be patient guys be patient there are some ladies who find love in a week exist ladies who found love after two months or three months like vicky but also exist ladies who find love after three years or four years so you really need to be very patient i'm not a magician to tell you that oh you're going to find love after a week when you join this site no guys that is why i always tell you the truth that you need to be patient you will find men who will ask you nude photos i tell you everything that you can come across on online dating apps to help you be aware and endure all these trials <laughs> while waiting for god's time but do it right guys try three months if it does not work i've told you exist lots of dating apps that you still don't know about so if it doesn't work come to me i'm going to tell you another dating apps to try and then try again three months till you find the one guys while putting yourself out there like i said in my previous point and god is going to answer you eventually just follow the advice <laughs> yes dear beautiful ladies way number five to avoid online dating apps depression you know most of the things i've discussed them but 
too bad is that <laughs> when new people join in they don't watch my previous videos you find that someone is watching this particular video so i want you to be helped by watching this particular video <laughs> then you'll go to the previous ones of course <laughs> so you are on online dating apps chatting with a guy and this guy seems good very good <laughs> Some guys can be really, really good and make you dream that he is the one, maybe. So, no matter how good this guy can be, no matter how convincing this guy can be, no matter how this guy makes you dance with the angels in heaven, <laughs> do not share the news yet. Please, please. Because that is when you go wrong if this guy comes to be a player if this guy comes to be a scammer <laughs> you have shared the news to your friends to your family and then if this guy is not the one you get disappointed again you go back chat with another one you share the news in the end these people will start asking you questions what happened about the other guy what happened about the guy who told you that he's gonna invite you what happened to the guy that said he is coming <laughs> and you will not have the answers to give them so it is better to keep things for yourself first observe the guy don't fall in love yet i've been telling you this <laughs> And sometimes you tell me, Bella, it's hard, but it is for your own good. Don't fall in love with a guy yet before you meet, before you know that the guy is real. So as you wait to fall in love, also do not share the news to your friends. Do not share the news to your parents to avoid disappointments, to avoid you feeling very sad because you shared the news and these people are asking, you don't have anything to answer them, then fall into a depression. Be like, if I find the other guy, it will be the same. If I find the other guy, it will be the same. So to avoid all that, keep things for yourself, don't share the news yet. Way number six to avoid online dating apps depression. Guys, I've talked about this when I shared a video about how to completely overcome online dating apps challenges. There is no a dating app that doesn't have scammers, that doesn't have guys who ask for nude photos, that doesn't have guys who don't have money to come meet you or to invite you, but still they wanna chat with you, that doesn't have guys who are serious, they want that right woman. That dating app does not exist. All dating apps exist scammers, exist men who fantasize, exist men who have got weird, weird fantasies, exist men who will tell you to undress in front of the camera, exist men who will ask you for your nude photos, and exist men who are serious. So guys, if you're using online dating apps, you are supposed to put this in your mind if you come across a player if you come across a scammer if you come across a guy who asks you for weird weird things it is very very normal very normal guys i don't know how i should tell you about this but it is normal that is how online dating world can be so stop punishing yourself by saying that the problem is me that is why i am meeting only these people why is that other people are sharing their beautiful success stories and it is only me that is encountering these losers <laughs> no guys it is not only you that is how things are be patient guys be patient be calm believe in god that you will find the right one if others have found the one why not to you guys why not to you like the success stories that i have been sharing and the one yet to be shared if these people have found love why not to you what is wrong with you nothing is wrong with you i repeat you will find love just keep trusting in god guys so guys stop stressing yourself that you're not finding the one on online dating apps because it might lead you into a depression take this as a hobby and take this whole experience in a positive way so before i end this video i want to talk again about connect me guys i don't have men to connect you i don't have them 
if i had this man i could have connected you too but i don't that is why i think the least that i can do is to give you the advice is to give you the guidance and i'm trying my best guys to help you out so that you can find the one i don't want to give you false hopes that maybe i am going to connect you to a guy i have a guy or what no i don't want to tell you lies i tell you the truth i don't have this man to connect you and before you come to my dm to ask for an advice if it is connect me better save it because i have talked about this already that i don't have men to connect you i don't have any like an agency where i have men that i will connect you no guys as much as i wish i had them but i don't have them guys that is the truth if you come to me ask for an advice maybe you are on online dating apps searching you have come across a challenge you want advice you want guidance come to me i am going to advise you then you can write to me you can come to my dm at african bella on instagram i'll be so so happy to help you but connect me guys i will be lying until now i have like a thousand requests of ladies who wants to be connected but do i have that a thousand men no guys i don't have so keep searching guys keep searching in the dating apps follow the advice put yourself out there you will find the one because god has created a man for everyone so when it's god's time you will find him so dear friends i really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something if you did please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something comment below what you think about this video subscribe please if you've not subscribed join the family <laughs> watch my other videos too they are super good you've got a lot to learn from those videos until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.